Hey, what's up YouTube? It's me, Andrew. Today I'll be reviewing the all-new Dell XPS 13. All right, let's get started. The latest Dell XPS 13 has a couple of features that were worth waiting for. First, you get the latest Intel Haswell processors, and second of all, you get the optional Full HD touchscreen panel. Let's not waste any more time, let's go ahead and break down the specs. This laptop features Intel Core i5-4200U running at 1.6 GHz, Intel HD 4400 for the graphics, 8 GB of RAM. For the Wi-Fi, we have the Intel Dual Band Wireless AC7260 with Bluetooth 4.0, 128 GB solid state drive. For the display, we have a 13.3 inch LED backlit touchscreen display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. This laptop comes weighing in at 3.03 pounds. For the operating system, we have Microsoft Windows 8.1. And the retail price of this laptop is $12.99. For those of you that need more space and performance, check out the high-end model for $16.49. You gain a 256GB solid-state drive, an Intel Core i7-4500U running at 1.8GHz with turbo boost up to 3.0GHz. Next up, let's talk about the design and build quality of the Dell XPS 13. On top, you got that beautiful aluminum finish on top. On the bottom, you got the carbon fiber composite base finish that looks spectacular. Here goes the vent for your fan. Underneath this logo, you got your service tag and serial numbers and etc. Next up, let's take a look at the interior of the laptop. Here you got the magnesium palm rest with the soft touch paint. The soft touch texture makes it a pleasure laying your palm rest on here. Only downsides I've experienced is it is a fingerprint magnet. Next up, you got your edge to edge cornering Gorilla Glass, which offers 8 to 10 times more scratch resistance than traditional glass panels. Overall, the design and build quality of the Dell XPS 13 has been top notch. Next up, let's test out the boot up speed on the 128GB solid state drive. And we're done. So this laptop took 16 seconds to boot up. Next up, let's take a look at the ports here on the left side of the laptop. Here you got your AC charging port, USB 3.0 port, and a headset port. Let's take a look at the right side now. Here you got your mini display port, USB 3.0 port, battery charge indicator light, and no, there's no HDMI output or an SD card reader. However, you can get adapters for both. Next up, let's talk about this gorgeous 13.3 inch LED backlit touchscreen display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Touchscreen performance has been very good. Double tapping, scrolling up and down, and etc. has been very smooth and precise. This is one of the best touchscreen panels I have ever tested. Let me go ahead and show you some samples here of scrolling to the left. Very smooth. Take a look at this gorgeous picture. The on-screen keyboard has been very good as well. Let me go ahead and show you a sample by searching for Microsoft Office. There we go. Just like that, you're done. Next up, let's test out the viewing angles on the new 13.3 inch touchscreen display. I'm going to rotate to the left. It's still pretty visible. Now it's starting to fade a little bit. Overall, the viewing angles were very good. Next up, let's test out the viewing angles by tilting the display back. Alright, here we go. And that's about it. I just wish there was more room to tilt back. The screen brightness levels on this laptop has been very good. With up to 350 nit, you won't have any issues regarding screen brightness. The colors are vibrant and the text is crisp. Let me go and show you some samples here. Let me zoom in so you can see the details of the text and the image. Wow, that looks very good. Next up, let's talk about keyboard performance. Here you got a standard full-size backlit keyboard, which is also spill resistant. Here you got a decent sized spacebar. Let me go and show you the key travel here and some of the keys. To get a better focus. All right, here we go. Let me show you the caps lock. Very good key travel. For an Ultrabook laptop, this is one of the best keyboards out there. Let's get another viewing angle of the key travel here on the spacebar. Next up, let me show you the backlit keyboard in action. Let me go ahead and activate it. That's the high setting, followed by the low setting, and off. Let's take a closer look at the backlit keyboard. As you can see here, it has like a super white tint to it. Looks very nice. Next up, let's talk about the trackpad. As many of you know, the previous generation did not have a user-friendly trackpad. For example, some gestures were not registering, and even something as simple as pointing to a direction was sometimes frustrating. Thankfully, Dell has listened to our feedback and has gotten rid of Cypress for its trackpads. The all-new Dell XPS 13 now features Synaptics for its trackpads. Let me give you a brief demo of the all-new trackpad. Let me scroll to the left. Check out how responsive that trackpad is. Let me go and activate the search menu. Let me go and close that. 
Let's go and scroll to the left. Let's go to the right side now. Very precise. Two finger scrolling, multi touch gestures, swiping left and right has been an enjoyable experience. Next up, let's talk about the processor. This laptop features an Intel Core i5 4200U running at 1.6 GHz with a turbo boost up to 2.6 GHz for one core or 2.3 GHz for two active cores. This Haswell chip has been great. Whether I'm just browsing the web or exporting an HD video, this processor has been proven in the Ultrabook market. And with 8GB of RAM, you've got yourself a powerful workhorse that is highly portable. Next up, let's take a look at the Geekbench 3 performance scores. This is the 64-bit version. For the single core score, I got 2,713 and a multi-core score of 5,097. Next up, let's take a look at Cinebench R15. For the CPU, I got a score of 232 CB. Next up, let's test out the Intel HD 4400 using 3D Mark. For the Firestrike 1.1, I got a score of 597. Cloudgate 1.1 came in at 4,333. And Icestorm 1.2 came in at 42,674. With these scores, you can play Minecraft, Crisis, and Borderlands 2, but don't expect to play Battlefield 4 and Need for Speed Rivals, for example. Next up, let's test out the performance from the 128GB solid state drive using Crystal Dismart. For the sequential read speed, we got 494.4 megabytes a second, and the write speeds came in at 316.6 megabytes a second. With these kind of speeds, you can expect excellent performance from your application and documents. Next up, let's talk about battery performance. Battery performance has been excellent. On average, I'm able to get around 6.5 to 8.5 hours out of a full charge with screen brightness at around 75%. Next up, let's talk about Wi-Fi performance. The performance from the Intel HC7260 has been magnificent. My speeds have been consistent, and I have not experienced any connection issues. Next up, let's talk about speaker performance. The speakers on this laptop is pretty good for an Ultrabook. Sound quality is crisp, mids and highs are balanced. What about fan noise? Overall, this laptop has been running very smooth and efficient. Under light usage, you can barely hear the fan. The only time I was able to hear the fan was when I was really pushing the CPU and the Intel HD 4400. The new Dell XPS 13 is one of the quietest laptops I have ever tested. Next up is temperature control. With medium usage, my average core temperature was around 54 degrees Celsius. As for user upgrades, the only thing that is upgradable is the solid state drive stick. If you're looking for an Ultrabook laptop that has a sleek aluminum finish, top-notch build quality, and the latest Intel Haswell processors, then look no further than the all-new Dell XPS 13. With an addition of a touchscreen panel, longer battery performance, and a new and improved trackpad, it's hard to ignore the new Dell XPS 13. The downsides to this laptop is there is no SD card reader and no HDMI output. That's just a bummer. They should have at least tried to squeeze an SD card reader in there. Alright, this completes my review on the all-new Dell XPS 13. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button and please subscribe for more upcoming videos. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.